A few months ago, Broadcom announced that VMware Workstation Pro and VMware Fusion were now free for personal use. Hey, I'm Luke, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install VMware Workstation Pro on Windows 11 in just two steps. So the first thing that we'll do is install Chocolaty. Chocolaty is a uh, package manager for the Windows operating system. Uh, if you're familiar with the Mac or uh, Linux, so it, both of those operating systems, Mac has Homebrew, and then of course Linux has Yum and AppKit, a lot of different ones. So let, let's take a look the, at the Chocolaty website. You can find it at chocolaty.org, and we're just on the install page, and what I've done is just copied this script and just pasted it in Notepad for uh, safekeeping. But this is going to download an install.ps1 file, which is a, a installer using PowerShell to install the Chocolaty uh, package manager. Step two will actually use Chocolaty to install VMware Workstation Pro. And you can see the different packages available through Chocolaty. If you go to, let's see, let's go to main, and then if you click on looking for packages, what we're going to look for is, of course, VMware Workstation. And it's VMware Workstation Pro, not player. And then this is the command that we're going to use, Choco install VMware Workstation. So let's go ahead and open up terminal. And we're going to open it as a as an admin and then we're going to go ahead and grab this first command and paste it in here we're going to go ahead and accept the warning and it's going to run that command it's going to go through and install chocolatey and now it's finished we're going to go ahead and clear the screen and I'm just going to run choco install VMR Workstation Pro dash Y. Da I'm adding dash Y just so that it goes ahead and installs instead of prompting us, are you sure you'd like to do this installation? Let's see, VMR Workstation Pro not installed, the package was not found. That's probably because I mistyped it and it's without the pro VMware workstation. So to be safe, I'm just going to copy and paste, clear the screen again. Now let's try this again. So you can see now that it's installing VMware Workstation, and this is the version that it's going to install. If you were using this for a business, you would, of course, want to purchase a license. But if you're using it at home, there's no cost. So at this point, you could go ahead and restart your machine. And then once you, once it comes back online, you should notice that you've got VMware Workstation, the VMware Workstation icon on your desktop. And here you can see that enter a license key to allow commercial use. So, of course, if it was for a business, you would go ahead and put in your license key. Or you can select use VMware Workstation 17 for personal use. This isn't a trial. This is free for personal use for ever or until Broadcom changes the licensing. I click continue and then go ahead and click finish. And now you've got VMware Workstation running. So at this point, you're ready to go ahead and start creating your virtual machines. You can go up to File, New Virtual Machine, go through the wizard, provide the ISO for whatever operating system you're installing, or you could go ahead and start using any box image if you use Vagrant to manage your environment. So that's it. Just a real quick video to show you how to install VMR Workstation Pro 17 for free in just two steps.